Titans of Space never fails to impress. It is one of the best loved experiences on the DK1 for good reason, and one that I generally put all newcomers through. Developer Drash hasn't simply updated the demo to work on the DK2, but rebuilt it with enhanced visuals and a variety of improvements that help maintain its place as one of the must-play experiences on either Rift. The original was beautiful, but new details like the sun's corona and improved planet textures make this new version truly breathtaking. My favourite new additions are the relatively tiny Martian moons Phobos and Deimos that you can now observe orbiting the red planet. I also particularly enjoy the new asteroid belt. Your tour ship has been slightly remodelled, placing several UI elements on your console, allowing the game to be played without a keyboard or gamepad at all if you prefer. Drash has thoughtfully packed the demo with features that other developers would do well to include in their games. For example, the ability to toggle a display of the IR camera tracking boundaries is useful for initial configuration and optimising your comfort. The ability to toggle your body and the seating on or off also allows for further customisation for the positional tracking experience. Drash has made concessions to users who may feel the original tour lasts a bit too long by adding a compact tour that skips the moons. Personally, I've been generally happy to sit through the full tour several times, but particularly for showcasing to several people at conventions, I can see this shortened tour as a helpful option. At the other end of the spectrum, the experience can now be extended by orbiting the planets, although this does break the flow of the tour somewhat. This new version has also been academically enriched. With the higher resolution screen of the DK2, it is much more comfortable to read the informational text provided, which in turn creates an opportunity to pack in more space facts. In addition to the old text, supplementary information can be viewed for many of the planets. A variety of language options are now also available. My only real complaint about this new build of Titans of Space is that I don't like the fact that most of the planets now only appear when they are the focus of the tour. Being able to turn around and compare the scale of planets all lined up next to each other was a big part of the original's power. Perhaps they were removed to improve performance, but somehow not being able to look back at the planets you've just seen diminishes the sense that you really are travelling between these worlds. Overall though, Titans of Space for the DK2 is a fantastic experience. The soaring score still infuses the captivating visuals with a majesty unlike any other. There is a teasing menu option of audio commentary, which with the right vocal talent could significantly enhance the experience's educational potential. Hopefully we'll see this added in time for the upcoming Gear VR version of the game. The improved visuals and new additions make it well worth a playthrough, even if you've sat through the original a few times. Drash continues to prove himself a leading light in VR design, with lots of well thought out, well implemented features that display a great care for the user and demonstrate how things should be done. That being said, he still hasn't fixed that fatal autopilot malfunction at the end though, which does border on the criminally negligent.